What's up? Our top story tonight, police across the country on high alert right now after four police officers were shot in four separate cities in 24 hours. In Texas right now, a manhunt underway for the suspect. Two more officers shot in Missouri. And right here in Florida, another officer taken to the hospital after a shooting during a traffic stop on Sanibel Island. And in Kansas, a teenage suspect shot and killed after he pulled a gun when officers tried to arrest him. Tonight, Carson Chambers takes a look at what local police officers are doing to protect themselves. I think we're up to uh, 56 officers this year. Four police officers shot on Sunday. Today, police nationwide being warned, reminded in roll calls they have a target on their backs. Usually when there's occurrences like this, they have them in... Um, you know, some kind of a discussion and read off and uh, just to let people know that, you know, there are people out there trying to hurt you. Officer Corey Crawford is a community police officer with St. Pete Police. Wow, nice. Are you guys sad school is, isn't around right now? Spending most of his time making a positive impact and also making sure other officers have support. If you're not assigned to a call, people start traveling in that direction just to make sure that everything's going to be okay. The four shootings on Sunday left one San Antonio 20-year force veteran dead. A man pulled up behind him as he wrote a ticket and shot him, according to investigators. You hear the, the, the term routine traffic stops, and uh, there's nothing routine about it. Um, you, you have no idea who you're pulling over, uh, what they've done. The Officer Down Memorial website, which tracks officers killed in the line of duty, shows a 10% increase in the number of officer deaths this year and a 71% increase by firearm. Statistics Officer Crawford says he's aware of, but won't dwell on. You have to keep safety in the back of your mind at all times, but again, you can't let that paralyze you from doing your job. In St. Pete, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.